Hi, I'm Derek Anderson. I stay at the Edinburgh. I have um, COPD, mostly emphysema. Um, 11 years, 12 years ago, uh, first recognised it was coming. I was short of your breath and I couldn't do my job. I uh, worked in damp warehouses, uh, cold storage. I worked in cold storage for 20 years and whiskey uh, maturation warehouses for just short of 20 years. I started coughing, coughing up dirty uh, uh, mucus. Yeah. The doctor sent me for uh, scans. Mornings are a bad time for every COPD sufferer. An average day for me is uh, my wife comes back with a cup of coffee, bed in my room, and a couple of rich tea biscuits. I get up, do my nebulizer, uh, my nebulizer, uh, I put on first thing, that helps it, eases it a wee bit. 12 tablets in the morning, 10 at night. There's some days I'm good and some days, uh, there's no two days the same. Uh, mornings are all, always bad, but as the day goes on, some days are really good, and other days, oof, you wish you weren't here. You know, it's as bad as that at times. It's, things do change quickly with it. Before long, I, I, could, I could walk, and walk quite well, and go for as long as a, a, a slow pace. And then that uh, depreciated as time went on. Um, now uh, it takes me more time to walk five yards or so without panting, you know. You know the only thing I can see is when I'm, when I'm sitting like this, I'm brilliant, you know, I'm okay. As soon as I start to move, then I start to cough, then the, the phlegm moves, the mucus uh, moves, I start bringing it, bringing it up, you know, and I mean, any one time I can fill half a cup of a mucus, you know, and it's, it's not very nice. And a lot of things I'd like to do, I used to do. <coughs> As a matter of fact, that's, that was the things I, I most dislike now. I can't used to take the grandson to football training, football matches, rugby, the two of them swimming. <coughs> I kind of do that now. But my, my daughter, who's a nursing sister in the Western General, told me I'm a squeaky gate. <laughs> and my wife does everything for me. And um, I'm grateful for that. You know.